Hello everyone, how are you doing? Happy New Year to you all. I hope you've had a hangover free or if you're suffering from a hangover, well, you've only got yourself to blame. Little doggy with us as well. I've just dropped the bear off because she has to work New Year's Day, unfortunately. But yeah, I've got some news for you if you haven't seen it. And it's, it's, it's quite negative to be honest with you. I don't mean to be negative, but it's the news that's been brought. Um, we shall begin with the one that everyone knows about, that John Joe Shelby has, of course, injured. We found that out in the Leicester game, didn't we? And he looks like he's going to be out for another six or seven weeks, which is disappointing because I think a run of games, Shelby, I would like to see him have a full season under Eddie Howe because he was labelled, oh, he's lazy and he's all of this, but he actually does a lot of high pressing when he plays with Eddie Howe's side, which means that the likes of... Um, Joe Willick and Sean Longstaff will get a longer run in this day. Normally one of those two would be benched if John Joe Shelby starts. Joe Litton, you would normally say, would be a centre midfielder. I don't like him out on the left hand side, to be honest. I think it can work in some games, but not all of them. So it does mean that the centre midfield position that those two lads I mentioned prior there will start more often than not. And are you coming or you're not? No, you don't want to indicate, which which doesn't help me out one bit. So that's the disappointing thing about John Joe Shelby, because he is a quality uh, midfielder. And there is rumours that he's close to triggering a contract extension. There always seems to be that story every every year. Every year. Um, regarding the next guy, is Matty Longstaff. Ah, oh, gutted for a man. He's one of our own. Jordy Boy. He's got a cruciate feel from because that's 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 months on end out of action and he's been out on loan and he's at that age now where no you can't come over here you can't he's at that age now where he needs to be playing first team regular football and is, is it at Newcastle or elsewhere so I feel it come at a really really bad time where he needs to impress out on loan and the injury's taking his chance away from him so it doesn't look great for Matty of course, we're now that he burst on the scenes, didn't he, against Man United under Bruce? But um, mm, it could be the end of the road for him. Hopefully, it's not, because I do want to see more and more Jordies try to break through, try to become a regular, and unearth, you know, one day another superstar. Is Ellie Anderson that guy? Potentially, but who knows? But it's disappointing on that front as well. Uh, another one. More injury news, Matty Target is, has a nasty heel problem from what Eddie Howe said. It, how long is he going to be out for? I think, fortunately, he's not starting at the minute. But again, the backup, because Dan Byrne is a centre-back playing left-back, isn't really there because Paul Dumb is forever injured. Javier Manquillo could do a job for you there. So could Matt Ritchie. But the quality does drop for me. Are you going to turn around and stop showing your bum off to everybody? And so if one of those two comes in, you know, it, Mankyo, I know he did a fantastic job at away to Leeds last season. But, um, yeah, it does drop, doesn't it? And it asks the question, all these injuries, which was going to happen at some point. But just, you know, you've had it with Callum Wilson. You've had it with Alan St. Maxman. You just hope it doesn't, like, happen to a Bruno, for example. But, um, oh, one with one with two performance centre backs. Or even Trippier. So, because it's going to happen, and it's, it looks like it's starting to happen now, and especially when there's a run of, out of the World Cup, there's a game every three days. Newcastle are in three competitions, fighting for the top four of the Premier League, they're fighting for the League Cup, they're fighting for the FA Cup, although I think the FA Cup game will be a rotated side. Um, it's, it's disappointing all these niggling injuries. Do you dip it in the market? Do you just go in the loan market? Or do you buy someone who's, I don't know, an up-and-coming young lad? And because uh, it's frustrating, isn't it? It's, it is frustrating. But every club has these, and we'll have to deal with it. And then the big one, the biggest one out of the lot, which is the title of the video, Martin Dubravka is coming back, or is back now, at Newcastle. He's, he's went to Manchester United and I didn't like the way he left, I'm not going to lie to you. I know he's a great servant and done well for Newcastle and he was a decent goalkeeper. But the way he left, as soon as he got his loan move, sitting there in the hotel with a, with a caption on Instagram saying, come on, the, come on the boys or something like that, I was like, nah, nah, not for me. Like, And he must have thought that he's going to be playing loads of cup games 
you play every cup game and he's only played two games since going out on loan and I don't know if you've seen the game against Burnley because I watched that he was shocking he was fragile he was all out of the place losing the ball his positioning was shocking he was punching all out of the place back passes were all out his kicking was just dreadful and now he's back at Newcastle and it's an, I think it's a problem because we've got too many goalkeepers so you've got Jude Smith an under 21 lad who was who was absolutely killing it he trains with the first team normally on a match day he doesn't need to be registered but he's a promising talent which we bought in the summer you've got Mark Gillespie who played a course in Saudi he's not registered so we need rid of him what do you do now with Carriers because there was rumours that we're going to uh, extend his contract but if Martin Dubrovka hangs about we don't need to do that so if Dubrovka wants to to head out on loan again or get a permanent good riddance for me I think just just the way he just wanted to jump ship and couldn't take it that Nick Pope was number one so he goes to Manchester United to be in number two so he's just he's just and I'm going to use a goalkeeping phrase he's moving the goalposts see what I did there just two to two but you'd probably be you probably would have played the cup games at Newcastle because he is a decent goalkeeper still but that game against Burnley for Man United, Jesus, what was going on with him? Where's his confidence has just been sh absolutely shot. So he's back at back at the tune. What did he do with him? Because if he sticks around, you're gonna have to just not renew Carrius' contract. Then you've got Carl Dollar who's recently come back from injury. Do you make him your number two? Or do you say a Carl Dollar? I'm sorry, Carl. You're gonna be number three now that Martin Dubravka's back. Do you know what I mean? Nick Pope isn't going to be dislodged. We've got the best defence in the league. We're keeping clean sheets over and over again. Doesn't matter who we're playing. Our defence is rock solid with the goalkeeper and the back four in front of them. With the likes of Trippier, Shea, Botman and even Dan Byrne. For me, the best four unit, including goalkeeper, best back five statistically this season. So it's a conundrum for Eddie Howe now then with all these keepers. But the injuries, as I say, to John Joe... Uh, into because I haven't got your seatbelt on it's doing there where are you? doing there the car think the car thinks you thinks you're heavy <laughs> maybe you should lay off, lay off the food Ferdinand um, <laughs> but aye let us know what you think of these injuries and especially the Dubrovka carry on but aye happy new year to you all and aye we'll see you for the Arsenal game which I'm down there just on me lonesome got to book my hotel actually um when I get in, actually. But I, if you can drop us a like on the video, that would be wonderful from myself and the little guy doing there, little Ferdinand. Uh, we shall see us very, very soon here on Newcastle Fans TV.